Hello and welcome to the Russell Internet Mainframe Basics to the Blender Game Engine. Uh, today we will be covering how to make a basic game train, how to cover the train, how to create a character, how to create a basic character controls, and uh, also how to set the camera up and set an endpoint and everything. Uh, if you haven't already, please visit www.russimf.com. Uh, for all your uh, graphic design needs. I have plenty of tutorials on the page that you can uh, check out and use. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing I want you to do is delete the default cube. All right, once you have that done, uh, go ahead and add a plane and size it up. Uh, before we get into the deep end of this, I want to make sure that everybody knows that this is, even though this is a basic uh, tutorial, uh, you need to have a good understanding of Blender because I'm not going to cover all the controls on how to do everything. Um, you need to understand how to do that prior to, which you can do with my other tutorials. All right, uh, once you have the cube sized up, go ahead and switch into edit mode and subdivide three times. And all right, yeah, that should be good. All right, uh, switch over to face select mode with the triangle and deselect. And then uh, hit B twice, and we'll go ahead and start selecting some faces here. You don't have to do it the same order as me. doesn't matter. We're just, uh, you'll see what we're doing here. We're just making a basic train. Uh, go ahead and switch into side view. Uh, with the faces selected, hit G, Z axis, and bring them downward. And if you can go back to the top view, you see here now that we have a basic terrain for our character to navigate. Um, well, like I said, this is very basic. It's just get your feet wet into the game production. So don't be surprised. It doesn't look amazing yet. All right, now we're going to cover the train. So what I want you to do is go into the shading tab here, add a new material, change the color to red. All right. Uh, now go back into edit mode, and we're going to color this track right here, okay? Now you can go through, there's a bunch of different ways you can do it, but the way that I'm going to do it is a little bit easier. Uh, go over to your editing tab in edit mode with your area selected. Click on new material, and choose whatever color you want. I'm going to use yellow, then hit select, assign. And as you can see, our track has changed colors. All right, next thing I want you to do is, as you can see, I chose a start point here. That's where my cursor is. I'm going to go ahead and create a cube, and that is going to be our character for this, uh, for this level. All right, uh, I'm going to take the camera and place it in behind him. Uh, now, setting up the camera is pretty easy. Um, a lot of people think it's complicated, but it's not. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. I'll go over some of the more advanced ways in later tutorial. Uh, but for this one, we're just going to parent the camera to the cube. So select the camera, then select the cube, hit Control-P, make it parent. All right? And uh, right now, if you hit P to play, it won't do anything because the cube's not set up. But uh, you'll see here in a second. We can, I can show you that it works. Just click on the cube. And then go over here into your logic tab, or hit F4, and make the cube dynamic, all right? And you hit play, you can see that the cube fell, and the camera tracked along with it. All right, since we're in the edit tab, and we have the cube selected, go ahead and hit add, uh, controller, sensor, and actuator here. Or, I'm sorry, sensor, controller, actuator. And uh, make the sensor, keyboard, W. And connect that to controller, and connect that to location. And we're going to make the, uh, you're going to choose this top left box here, make it 0 .05. All right, now basically what this is doing is it's saying when this happens, when this input happens, I want this to do this. I want this object to do this. So when this happens, I want this to happen, OK? So let's hit P to play, hit W. And you can see our cube goes forward. That's how that works, all right? Uh, now we're gonna set up a rotation on them real quick. Keyboard A. When keyboard A is pressed, I want there to be motion. I want it to rotate on the Z axis to negative 10, which I think is the wrong direction. Yep, it is. Make that positive 10. There we go. 
And then uh, we can just go ahead and set up the other one as well. Keyboard, V is pressed. I want there to be a negative 10 rotation on the Z axis. And as you can see, our character will now navigate the course. Very easy. Okay, uh, very last thing I want to cover real quick is uh, how to set up an endpoint in the game. Uh, this doesn't have to be an endpoint, it could be anything, it could be a death point, whatever you want. Uh, it's just demonstrating the ability to do it. Uh, we'll set our endpoint up right here. Actually, we'll set it up right here. So you don't have that far to travel. Okay, uh, click on the plane, uh, or whatever object you chose, it doesn't have to be a plane. Uh, make sure it's at the right height. Okay. Add a sensor, controller, and actuator. And always, or correction, do collision with property player, which I'll tell you, I'll explain that in one second. We want there to be a scene restart, okay? So when you collide, when something with the property of player collides with this object, the scene will restart, okay? So in order to do that, and let me show you here, if our player goes over to it right now, nothing will happen, okay? because we haven't assigned the property player to our player. So come over, click on the cube or your player, whatever your object is, and hit add property, and then change the name to player. Now all the spelling and case has to be correct. If it's all lowercase, it has to be all lowercase or it won't work. And as you can see, when we go over to it, now the scene restarts, all right? Too easy. All right, uh, that's all I have to cover in this uh, very basic tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to go back over this slowly, reference it, uh, shoot me an email, uh, come to the website, check everything out. Um, I have tons more tutorials on game design to come. All right, thank you.